All righty, good morning. So I've got to break up my hearing some sort of bird calculating in the rain. So I figured I'd go out and get my walk in. Uh, I did some work on the shillelagh and uh, attempted to do like some black tiger stripes down it. I kind of like the way it turned out. wasn't perfect, but I'll take it. We'll let it dry for about two days now. It's still very tacky. That's because the house is not that warm. And uh, so what would usually be dry to touch in a couple hours, probably going to take a day. But I'm in no hurry for it. And I'm trying to think of the next addition to it. So this one I'll take the, the puppy route and see if they're out. I was going to throw another layer on, but I know once I got about half mile down the road, it'd probably be overheating. So I'm just going to walk briskly. So today I made my protein shake without any protein powder. I opened up the one jug that I've had for a very long time. And that was well past the Best Buy date by a couple years. And I gave it the old smell test and I didn't quite care the way it smelled. It wasn't bad, but it didn't seem like it was going to be something I enjoyed. It was a vanilla flavor and sometimes they don't turn out too well. So it got dumped. So I made the shake with milk, peanut butter, banana, five eggs, and some pure vanilla extract. And that was very good. I took my multivitamin, I took my arginine, I took my balance of nature, fruits and vegetables. I don't take those all the time, but now that the garden's done, I'm not getting them in naturally like I used to. So it is important to have that added to my diet. Uh, speaking of health, you know, it's, it's a cold and flu season. And now there's rumors of the, I don't know, super flu or whatever. It may have swung over from China. And this one seems to hit the young kids more than the older generation. A little bit suspicious. But your best defense, obviously, is washing your hands. You know, don't shake somebody's hands who just sneezed in it and then pick your nose or anything like that. Uh, and vitamin C, vitamin D3, and zinc are your best immunity boosters. Makes your body stronger to fight off anything that might want to attack you because remember cold flu usually hits you when your defenses are down you know you had a very hard week and you burned a lot of calories and you weren't eating right that's a, that's when it's going to get you tied one on that'll get you you know or you just got exposed to it too many times so you know and i'll do what my mama was trying to get me to do for 60 years and wash my hands often uh, wipe down areas at work I do have a can of Lysol when I come into my shift I spray down the keyboards and mouse and any of the items I'm touching just makes sense uh, there's my buddy Jake hi there puppy of course if I go over there they'll get mad but Beautiful puppy dog. Ah, puppy dog. Uh oh, I think I woke up some other puppy dogs. But they're in their fence. Those are the labs. So, uh, this is really the time of the year you want to make sure you're eating good, nutritious foods, you're taking your vitamins, taking your minerals, 
wiping down surface surfaces with Lysol. Yeah, so before I go to work, I hit those areas. And I know the whole time I don't have to worry about it. You know, things like that can help you. Now, you still might get the cold, you still might get the flu, but if you're eating good nutrition and you are taking your vitamins and minerals, it won't last as long. Also, if you don't smoke, it won't last as long. So average cold will last the average person about five or six days. As a smoker, it's 10 to 14 days. And for somebody who's taking the vitamins and minerals and kicks in the airborne and theraflu and all these things that are very high in zinc and vitamin C and D3, they generally can be through it in about three. So I like to be in the three-day category myself. That's more fun. So there's the deer stand I heard a couple shots from. I heard uh, somebody shooting yesterday. And I heard someone shooting this morning because second season, deer season is upon us. Uh, they catch the first rut and they catch the second rut is what the seasons are for. So hopefully, some people scored some venison. That's good eating. Yeah, I see a, somebody left a can on the side of the road. I'll come and get it on a return trip. Here comes the bus. So, don't even look like a beer can. I don't know. We'll see what it is later. I'll get my walk in. Getting a missed shot from the bus. Thank you very little. And getting the blood moving. Why is it important to get the blood moving? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, there's a hawk. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Should see him cutting through there. He went back in deep in the woods. If you're in the house and you're laying down or sitting down a lot, you know, your body starts to get lethargic. Remember, body at rest tends to stay at rest. Body in motion tends to stay in motion. So when I find myself slowing down, I go for a walk. And that will wake me up and get me going. Oh, look at that. We got the big tall boy, Beta. Oh, look, I got a big can. I'll come back for that, too. These might just take with me because it's on my return trip. I didn't bring a bag. Because I didn't feel I'd have enough to warrant it. And I still don't. I, uh... Kind of cleaned up this stretch two weeks ago, ten days ago, something like that. And in the wintertime, they're a little slower on their drinking habits, so to speak. Uh, here's the neighbor where I get my chicken eggs from now. Of course, I did buy 60 eggs from the store. And it's funny, because when I was at the checkout counter... The lady said, oh man, they went up again. And seeing how I don't usually buy them that way, I just kind of had to take her word for it. There's Mud Creek. Guaranteed there's no turtles out and about. But there are fish. And, uh, when I posted my video last night, uh, one of my subscribers said, yeah, you know, used to get them for seven bucks, because that's how he buys them. He said, <clears throat> last time he paid 11 bucks, so I ended up paying nine, I think nine dollars and nine cents or something like that. So yeah, they went up. Just like everything else, you know, and the lady said, man, they went up again. I said, yeah, everything's going up. 
I mean, you know, ain't no need to complain about it. It is what it is. Uh, I mean, I didn't even have only like a Walmart bag and a half, you know, those little gray bags. So and that was 80 bucks. I said, man, don't take much. You know, you buy some meat, buy some milk and eggs, and there you are. <laughs> so I figure my food bill this year alone has probably increased at least 30% over the year before that and that was 30 percent over the year before that so you know when they talk about the economy being better well they're lying to you all right we did get a new contract i'm making a couple more bucks an hour but it's not covering the price increases you know where last year I was probably spending 400 a month on food, I'm now spending 600. All right, year before that was probably 300. Year before that was probably 250. So when they try to sell you that, oh, Bidenomics is working. They're talking out of their fourth point of contact. Just saying, it ain't working. Now, is it natural for prices to go up? Yeah, it is. But not as fast and quickly as they have. You know, you can't keep making decisions based on non-qualifications. Right, you can't be picking people for jobs just because of their gender, race, or ideology. you got to pick them if they're qualified. You know, fill in a quota a terrible way to run the country. Now you can't discriminate because of gender, race, and ideology. But nor do you sit there and put somebody in a position that you have absolutely no ability to do. I mean, we have an energy secretary and she didn't even know how many barrels of oil we use a day. All right. You're the energy secretary. You don't have that information? Well, I don't have that information in front of me. Well, get on your damn phone and Google it. Take you 30 seconds. You know, you got the Department of Justice trying to say, well, I don't know exactly how many were affected by these things. Yeah, you do. Stop lying. You know, and one of transportation, doesn't they have a clue about transportation? What was this qualification? It's not a qualification. It's a life choice. I don't care one way or another about it. So, to say the least, our country is in poor shape. Then I'll go on Twitter and I'll look at these shrills. So what's a shrill? Well, you back a candidate and you go out and put out misinformation because you feel you have to. You know... You make a statement that is completely false, and it's obvious that it's false, but you're still making it. Then you have another couple other shrill accounts that say, oh yeah, you're right. No, you're not right. So when you say something on Twitter, regardless of what the message is, my advice is research it. And you'll find out a lot of that information is BS. And also when something comes out and it's new and it's trending and before you get on the bandwagon and start making comments on it I would highly suggest you wait a couple days for the real story to come out because it's almost never what it originally came out as you know somebody's getting sued for Christmas dead spin because you're an idiot you tried to pass off a lie. And I think you knew it was. And then when you got called out on it, you doubled down on it. And made yourself look even more foolish. And as I say, you're getting nothing for Christmas. Because <laughs> you're going to be paying lawyers. 
and you should picking on a child that's the problem nobody's off limits and people are marching for things they know zero about and when I mean zero I mean zero they have no idea what they're talking about and if you try to give them the information not only do I want to talk about it I got a brother that way brings up a subject and then when I'm proving the narrative wrong suddenly he doesn't want to talk about it well I'm sorry brother I love you but you started this party we're gonna finish it <laughs> so not that I'm the tome of all knowledge and reason but I try to check my stuff three layers deep before I say anything you know not 100% on it but I would say I'm in the high 90s so before you fall for the bandwagon make sure that's the ride you want to be on and then uh, <clears throat> my titled video from yesterday you know big brother parentheses creators are watching you I think it'd be worth watching about three quarters way in I do get in the meat and the potatoes of that probably one of my more serious ones but it's something I've been seeing on other channels and people are bringing their drama from their channel to another channel you shouldn't do that it's your channel drama away don't be a guest. Now I mean by guest, don't be as a subscriber going on somebody else's channel and carrying on your spat with the other individual. Because that's not what their channel is about. And it's rude for you to see it be doing that. You got me thinking when I was seeing what was happening. And I took... I took a couple days before I made a decision and it was a channel I was sub to it was a channel I was recommended a long time ago well I unsubbed because I didn't like the message I started looking at some of the other videos started looking at the demeanor and I said this is not the type of channel I want to follow. No, I'm not going out on a pedestal and telling other people not to follow the channel. I'm not even going to mention the channel. I believe people can make their own decisions about what they want to do. And should make their own decisions about what they want to do. And you can take the same piece of information, you know, and give it to ten people. and You will get ten variations what it means which is normal nothing wrong with it so but I made a decision it's not a channel I want to follow it wasn't where I was following a lot anyway but life's too short to have that drama all right I'm out here walking to kind of get that off my mind and get my heart pumping and good for my health for both physical and mental health and I think people kind of enjoy the scenery probably not my face so much <laughs> that I show when I'm on my walks and this is part of the rest nutrition proper exercise and have fun this is the having fun yes it's exercise but it's enjoyable and I try to get out here Anytime the weather permits it. The grass now. Pretty sunny day, but it's in the 40s. So it is warm enough. Ah, there's the puppy dogs. I like the dogs. Since they're too excitable and they start fighting with each other. Trying to get my attention, so I've been kind of holding back on them. Oh, man. See, the neighbor's got a lot of wood over there. 
I know he's there to burn it, but I think I can repurpose that. Let me see about get it moved over to my area. Those looks like I get closer, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I don't know where he got them from, but they look like they can make some really good raised beds. Oh shit, they'll make good flooring. I could use that for my shed. I think I'll give him a call. Ask him what's he doing with that stuff. I might get my son-in-law over. Because I could carry that right in my shed and lay it down and a couple boards above it. And that'd be perfect flooring. Probably want to get it over here before it goes bad. I might make this a two-part video. I'm going to give him a call.